Every workshop and building site needs a set of saw horses, and without a shadow of a doubt, these are one of the snazziest, strongest, and easiest set of saw horses that you'll ever get to make. And to top things off, they're stackable, so they save valuable space in the workshop. And please take note, no complicated joinery is required. How good's that? Let's do it. The secret behind the strength of these saw horses lies in the use of an I-beam configuration, which is where we stack three boards upon one another that I defy anyone to bend or break. All we need for the saw horse I-beam is to cut three boards to length using your circular saw. And just so you know, for this project, all we are using as part of my circular saw masterclass is a circular saw and a cordless drill, which is why I'm using a circular saw, but if you have a mitre saw, by all means go ahead and use that. Once you have those boards cut, position them so that the middle board, this one here, is centered vertically between the bottom and the top board, and then just simply screw everything together, starting from the bottom and finishing up with the top. Now it's very important that you take care with this step and line up all those vertical marks absolutely spot on. If you don't, it tends to throw those legs off kilter just a touch, which will make your sawhorse wobbly. And let's face it, nobody wants a wobbly sawhorse. Now just before we go ahead and screw that top down, just a couple of quick things you need to be aware of. When driving your screw down through the top, make sure you embed that screw by about 12 millimeters or half an inch so that it doesn't come in contact and damage your precious saw blade. Now this next step is optional, but as a reminder as to where the screws on the top are, I'm just going to use a speedboard drill bit to make a hole that will take a timber plug, which I've just cut off the end of an old broom handle that is larger than the screw. Once that screw gets driven in, then I can cover that with the plug as a reminder not to cut over that spot. Now, like I said earlier, you don't have to do that step, but it's practical and it looks good what's not to like. All the alternative is just to use some glue and glue the top down. With the eye beam finished, it's now time to cut those legs to length with a beveled cut on the bottom so that it sits nice and flat on the ground and a square cut on the top. Cut the end with the bevel first, as that will make cutting it to length easier, especially when you're only using a circular saw. And just letting you know that cutting that bevel isn't compulsory. You can leave that end square if you aren't comfortable in cutting a bevel. Now to attach the legs, it could not be any easier. Just simply place the leg inside the eye beam flush with the end down the bottom, and up the top here, and then just simply drive in two screws down the bottom, two screws in the top, and away you go. Too easy. All four legs are now on. Let's just go and see how this sits on the ground. Now check that out. That is absolutely beautiful. Since we're talking about horses, did you hear the one about the pony that goes to the doctor and he says, hey doc, I think I'm dying. I've got a really sore throat. <coughs> The doctor looks at the pony, calms him down, and he said, look mate, nothing to worry about. You're just a little horse. <sighs> little horse. Classic. What a beauty. 
Now one more quick thing that I want to do to these saw horses is out of a scrap piece of plywood I've cut this gusset that I'll just simply screw to the front here which will help stabilise and strengthen those legs. Now because these saw horses are stackable we need to ensure that the I-beam on the top saw horse, the bottom two pieces are slightly longer than the top on the original saw horse. Now the reason for that is that once the gusset goes on, just like that, it needs to sneak over the top of the original saw horse to make it stackable. If the top saw horse was made the same length as the bottom saw horse, that gusset would hit the top, making that stack very unstable and not particularly safe. Now just because it's a sawhorse doesn't mean that it has to look dull and boring. Make it a bit snazzy and jazz it up with some paint and a couple of image transfers. <laughs> that is black. Now to make stacking these saw horses easier, we have red plugs for the top saw horse and clear plugs for the bottom saw horse. That way you know which one goes on the top and which one goes on the bottom. The end result is a set of saw horses that look great, tick, are easy to build, tick, incredibly strong, tick, and are stackable, tick. And there will be a link to the plans and the circular saw masterclass down below, so make sure you check them out. Alrighty, after all that, I think it's time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.